the differences between left-wing populism and right-wing populism. Left-wing populism sees a, a, an elite at the top of the income and political distribution and realizes that that is the nature of the game, that that is the way that you deal. We have a uh, an oligarchy, if you want to call it. You can call it a, a plutocracy. We have gone from a plutonomy to a plutocracy where an elite group of and, and elites really the wrong word moneyed wealthy capitalist and powerful is really what it is um and and by definition there's very few of those people who are controlling things whereas on the right they perceive that elite as well but they're but they also tie it in to the people who are marginalized in terms of political and economic power in society immigrants trans people brown people, black people, um, and that is their difference, and that is what they're espousing. And here is Steve Bannon essentially moving from the philosophical into the sort of practical. What is the game plan for the Trumpites in Congress? And we're watching this play out right now with these fights as to who is going to get power and who's going to be the one to carry this message but here's steve bannon explaining what they intend to do impeaching joe biden's too good for him then we got to bring the criminal charges and send him to prison for treason and selling out this country <laughs> is there any doubt is there any doubt you've gone through the laptop from hell remember it was a year later and they spent all that time with twitter and facebook and all of them prepping and saying oh this is russian disinformation they did they had all of our phones tapped they had mine they had rudy's had everybody's i was pause it for on one it. second i just want to remind you we'll start this over again they they never talk about what's in the laptop yes there's just an assumption you you're, all you're know. completely aware of what's in that laptop from hell and now I'm going to spend the bulk of my message on the process that kept it from everybody else. But we never, ever hear what's in the laptop. It just is salacious. So it must be must be corrupt. That's the leap that they want people to make. If you hear like think about how much time you've heard about the subjugation of that information and how little amount of time you've heard about the actual information if this was really a question for them about this information did not get out to the american public what they would actually be doing if there was information there is they'd be sharing that information mm -hmm. instead of sharing about how nobody heard about the information and it's not like they didn't have complete access they have the damn hard drive like so, they have everything so <laughs> impeaching joe biden's too good for him then we got to bring the criminal charges and send him to prison for treason and selling out this country <laughs> is there any doubt is there any doubt you've gone through the laptop from hell remember no. it was a year later and they spent all that time with twitter and facebook and all of them prepping and saying oh this is russian disinformation they did they had all of our phones tapped they had mine they had rudy's had everybody's i was working on it they knew what they were doing this is all out in the open now it was an open coup by ray and Barr and the dhs cia and the people that work for them and we all politics is performative until we get the investigations and get to the bottom of every name the 51 intelligence officers and everybody else that sold this country out all these traitors must go to prison all traitors must go to prison traitors must go to prison yeah um just a reminder Barr, ray pointed by donald trump mm. the idea that bill Barr was i mean <laughs> bill Barr got hired because he wrote like a six-page memo trying to, to defend uh trump against impeachment charges people like bannon are good at taking definitions and applying them to the left as a way to completely like scrub themselves of responsibility like 
the, we're not the traitors. They're the true traitors, even though I was a huge part of an attempt to overturn a democratic election in this country. And, projection. I mean, it's not just projection, too. I think it's conscious. They're trying to... Everybody's a traitor, so I can't be a traitor. <laughs> yep. Trump can't be a traitor. 